Did you know that there was a snake large enough to revolve around the world? This long creature existed in the Norse mythology where gods such as Thor and Odin were real. In today's video of Brains TV, we will be exploring the Norse mythology and talk about the origins of the world serpent known as Jormungandr. I will also be answering the title of the video which is, what if the world serpent existed today? But before we do that, let's get to know more about the Jormungandr. Jormungandr is a giant snake that is long enough to slither around the world. That's why it's called the world serpent. The Jormungandr is one of the children of Loki, the god of chaos, and Anger Boa, his giant mistress. He inherited his massive size from his mother and his destructive tendencies from his father. The world serpent has two other siblings, Fenri, the enormous black wolf, and Hel, the ruler of the underground known as Hel. The world serpent encircles around the earth and is said to be the end reaper and the one that causes Ragnarok to the world. This sea serpent is supposed to be circling around Midgard holding its tail with its mouth. The Norse mythology states that once it releases its tail, it will set a rebirth causing the world to end. Its arch enemy was Thor, the god of thunder, and other gods that lived in Asgard. The children of Loki were meant to fight the gods who would defeat them in a destructive battle. They were meant to be the doom of Asgard and the world. When this battle happened, it led to a destruction of the world causing it to submerge in water. However, after all that catastrophe, it would then resurface and begin again. It would be repopulated by two people with the opposite gender. This is similar to the Bible. This creature is completely non-hostile until it lets go of its tail. Because if it does that, that's a sign that it's going to cause destruction to the world. In the Norse mythology story, it states that the final battle, the Jormungandr will be slain by Thor, who will then take nine steps away before succumbing to the serpent's ether poison that he had been spewing in the air during the final battle. During their fierce fight, none would stand victory because both died. Now that we know about the world serpent's backstory, let's learn about its powers and abilities. The Midgard serpent possessed superhuman strength, the extent of which was never measured but which far surpassed Thor's class 100 level, whereby Thor can lift well over 100 tons. Overall, it has an overpowering strength and stamina. It can spit out a very deadly poison and its blood is acidic as well. This sea serpent can generate a fire blast and has the power to create a strong illusion. And finally, it can cause earthquakes by flexing its coil around the earth. So, now that we've learned a lot about the Jormungandr and the powers that it possesses, Let's get on to the question, what if the world serpent existed today? If the world serpent existed today, it wouldn't be a harm unless it's provoked or to be awakened. Naturally, it would just circle around the earth holding its tail with its mouth. Since this large creature can wrap itself around the earth, it can easily be found in the ocean. Traveling across the sea, its body can be seen slithering around the earth over and over with the same rotation. Scientists would try to learn and find out more about this creature. Basically, they're going to try to find as much information as they can before it becomes a threat to the world. But the problem is that we have no other guy from the Norse mythology or being that can slay this beast. We have no Thor, that is the god of thunder. We have no Odin. We have no weapons such as Mjolnir. Let's say that this massive sea serpent decided to let go of its tail and rise from the ocean. Well, this would already mean that it's about to start causing a destruction to the world and go on a rampage. The world serpent can easily wipe out humanity in multiple ways. First, it can use its poison or its acidic powers, causing the air full of poison. This would mean that oxygen wouldn't be a thing. But of course, without oxygen, humans can't breathe. And if they can't breathe, they die. Somehow, we managed to counter it by using gas mask. Well, it can also use its body by flexing it and it will cause an earthquake. With earthquakes happening, it will cause mudslides. Cities will rumble, which would mean that towers, buildings would eventually fall. Not only that, the worst part is that lands could possibly even separate. Okay, now we try killing the Jormungandr. 
However, we're going to have to use Nuke because it's too powerful and it's too strong. But using Nuke to kill this giant being would just tear apart our landforms. Even if we do kill the world serpent through nuking, our planet would become uninhabitable through all the damage that it took. To summarize it all, it is a lose-lose situation and that humanity will go extinct no matter what. And that will wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it and want more Brains TV content, please like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.